Hi, this is Steve. I made a uh, solar graph out of a beer can and this is a picture of the first test that I did for a few days and then I found out the way I mounted it to the pole at an angle wasn't holding and it moved and so I ended up making a, a different kind of mount that was kind of probably an overkill but I can actually adjust it the tilt of the can to make sure that the pinhole hits the bottom of the can hits the s bottom side of the can but not the bottom where there's no photographic paper um, so I tested that out on in June so it was hitting where it was going to hit the paper and not the bottom of the can here's a picture of the uh, mounting kind of jig I made out of plywood to hold it to the side of the pole and it's very solid and the can doesn't move at all so that's really nice when I opened this one up it had a little bit of water in the bottom and I believe that's what caused the little black circular area at the top of this image. Um, I'm not sure but it seems like the top like two-thirds or three-fourths of the image of where the sun was going through weren't as bright as the bottom you know 25 percent or so. And I'm wondering if when we had some rain about a month ago the water got in there and kind of damaged the paper a little bit or something. Um, that's why I kind of made this drain thing that I'm going to try on my next one that I'm going to start tomorrow. I'll set that up. The sun paths going through the very top, which actually goes into the little totally dark section at the top, that's going to be when the sun was the highest in the summer. And the very lowest the really bright part at the bottom. That was December 20, 20th, the last day of fall. So it kind of shows how the path of the sun goes through the sky. You don't want to uh, let this go past December you know, 21st or the June 21st because then you'll start overlapping the sun paths. And since the little dashes and dots are, you know, when clouds came by or it was a cl totally cloudy day or it's partly cloudy and it's, you can see the dots and dashes almost like Morse code or something, that was a partly cloudy day. You'll kind of ruin that if you let the sun go back over a part of it that's already gone over. So you can start them anytime, but don't go past December 21st or June 21st. That's when to take it out and put a new piece of paper in and try another one. Because I had a little bit of water in this last one when I just opened it today, there was about a tablespoon or so of water in the can and that kind of damaged the paper and the picture a little bit, which I assume happens to all of them. Um, I haven't seen anybody try to put a drain on these because if you put another hole it's going to let light in. So what I did was put a tiny little hole under here and I painted this flat black. I also got a second can and cut the bottom off and put a little tiny hole under here. But then I also got a little tiny piece of aluminum that I cut off the, the can and attached it with some um, caulking. Then I paint, well I painted it flat black beforehand so it's flat black underneath this and on top. So the water will drip out of the can, out of the solar graph can onto the top of this and then it will run underneath it and then out the hole underneath here. But that, this will keep the light from shining directly through so it won't be able to shine up into the, solar, the main solar graph can. I tilt it back because of the angle of the sun and you want to make sure that coming in the hole here it's going to shine down below here on June 21st when the sun's at the highest point. You want to make sure it's the paper and not the bottom of the can. So I, the mount I have tilts the can back. Anyway, so I'll put this on like that with some black tape around it and any water that does come in this little hole should be able to drip out and not let any light in either so hopefully next time it will be a little better but 
We'll see, it's an experiment. I haven't seen anybody else try to use a drain, so who knows. This is a regular sheet of paper. It's five by seven, the same size as my regular photographic film. Because you don't use a negative, you just actually use photographic paper, which I have a link down below in the description section to what paper I got. Make sure the shiny side is here. You'll fold it this way. And then when it's in the can, there'll be a little gap like that. And you want to make sure that your hole is definitely lined up in that gap so that the light, the sunlight can shine through and make an image on the paper on the inside, on the shiny side of the paper. So you'll just kind of roll it up like that, stick it in the can, make sure I kind of marked on the piece of tape a little mark of exactly where the hole is. You can kind of make sure that that lines up and is centered. I got the paper all aligned in there. It's probably hard to see in there, but it's against the walls of the can real nicely. That's when I would put this cap on. I'm going to use some black electrical tape to go around here to make sure no light can get in. And then I'll probably use duct tape because this is going to be out in the weather. And so no water can roll, roll in here from the top. No light can get in there. And then I'll stick my little drain thing on that I thought of. Put some black electrical tape around that. And it'll go in there tilted. Make sure the hole... Oh, this, this is optional. I mean, I'm just trying this out. I don't know if anybody's done this, probably, but not that I saw them online. But you want to make sure the hole is on the opposite side of the pinhole on the bottom, because it's gonna, mine's tilted when I mount it. So the water should all go down there, and that's where you want it to drain. And then make sure the hole on this is lines up too. And then I actually tried this in the sink just to make sure, and the water does drain through. Which hopefully will have a better result in six months when I take this out. I'll share that with you and make another video then. I also painted the inside of the can black. Um, flat black just to try to cut down on the reflections because I have seen on some of the cans or photographs online that you can get reflections which isn't the end of the world it's because it kind of an artsy look to it I haven't seen anybody try to do any kind of drain on the bottom so this will just be an experiment we'll see how that works thanks for watching hit subscribe if you liked it and uh, and like also